Hey, Mark Rice here, and it's time to create a game without a single line of code. It will be a perfect tutorial for designers and illustrators. If you want to try the game, check out the link in the video description, and you will see what you will be able to create at the end of the tutorial. So let's start! I tried a few platforms and this is the best. So type construct.net. Okay, here you can find everything that you need to know about construct. So read, create your account and start. Click get started and launch construct. Okay, this is the starting page. Here you can find templates, beginner's guide, tutorials and stuff like that. But you don't need that for now. I am here to show you everything that you need for a good platformer game. So, click new project, enter the name, here choose the format, the 720p landscape will be perfect, be sure to select landscape and click create. Ok, here we are on the main layout, we have dashed lines, the lines represent edges of the screen. Construct created your first layout, it will be main layout, so I will change the name to main layout. Click with the right mouse button, select rename and rename it. Every layout has event sheet. It's the place where you will create rules for the game. I will rename it as well. Now I will import the main background. You can download this file from gigantic.store. The best of all, the template have the free commercial license. It means that you can use every part of the template in your game. So check out the link in the video description. Ok, I will select the image, drag and drop to main layout. Just hold and increase the size. I created the main background. Here in object types you can find and import files. Select the image and you will get the image settings here. Now I want to import the ground. If I do this and set it with the main background, I will get the deformed image. I need a loop ground. So, I will click with the right mouse button somewhere on the layout and select insert new object. Here you can find tiled background. Select it and click insert. If you want to achieve a loopable image, use this option. Click here. Now you need to import an image. You can use this icon or shortcut Ctrl plus all. I will select the image and click open. That's it, I have what I need. Now I will fill the space below the ground. Just select an image, drag and drop. The basic environment is done. So it's time for the hero. I will go into the hero folder, standing and use the first frame. Ok, now I want to create the movement. Select the hero and here you will get the settings of the image. So go into behaviors, add new behavior and select platform icon. Now the software knows that is the platform character and gave him the basic platformer settings, like movements and stuff like that. Here you can find preview button, so we can easily test the game. Just press play. Ok, at the start the hero immediately falls, so I need to create a solid ground from this image. I will select it and go into behavior. Here you will find the solid icon, I will test it again. Now it's ok. I have unnecessary space here, I will fix it right now. Double click on the hero image. Select edit the collision polygon. That's it. It's time for animation. Double click on the hero and add frames here. It will be standing animation so I will change the name. Here I will add frames. Click with the right mouse button and select import frames. Then from files. I will go into hero folder. Standing and select every frame except the first one. The first frame is already imported. 
I select the second frame. The collusion polygon is different. So, I will go into the first frame and use apply the whole animation. When I select the stand, I will get the animation properties here. Select the loop and change the speed to 15. Ok, great, the animation is cool, but when I move the character, I need a walking animation. Before that, I will rename the hero image. Double click on the hero, and here you can add animation for walking. Click with the right mouse button, add animation and rename it. Now, I will import the frames for walking. Delete the first frame and change the collision polygon. The walking needs to be fast when with the loop. The speed will be 20. Beautiful, that's it! When I move the character, nothing is happening. That means it's time for a rules in event. So, go into event here and create your first condition. Add event and double click on the hero. Here you can find a lot of conditions, but I need on move it. It means when my hero moves. Now I need to add action. What happens when the hero moves? So, double click on the hero and choose set animation. Wall. It means when the hero moves, the hero will switch to animation wall. Cool! It looks like this. Ok, now I need to create a condition when he stops. Double click on the hero and choose on stop it. The hero will set animation Stand. Ok, that's it. Now I will go into main layer and create a jump animation for the hero. I will create the jump animation and add the frames. The process will be the same as I did with the walk and standing animation. Don't forget to select loop and rise animation speed. Before we test it, I will add the event for the jump as well. The hero on jump. We will set animation. Jump. Beautiful! I have one more thing. When the hero lands on the ground, the jump animation is still active. So we need a new condition. Go to the hero and select on landed. Ok, now I need two conditions for on landed. First, when the hero lands, I keep moving, and second, when the hero lands and stand. So, I will select the event and press S keyboard button to create under conditions. Double click on the hero and choose is moving. It means when the hero lands and continue to move. I will add an action. Now I will create an event for the stand. Ok, this is the condition when the hero is moving. The second condition will be when the hero doesn't move. Click with the right mouse button on it and choose invert. I will add the stand animation. Now I will test the moments.
here you can turn on double jump. The hero is always turned to one side, let's fix it. But before that I will add keyboard commands. Go to main layout, right mouse button, insert new object and here you can select your control input. I will select the keyboard but later you can easily switch on touch controls. Cool! Go to main events and create the keyboard conditions. Click on add event and go to keyboard. Select on K, press it. Select click to choose and hit the left arrow on your keyboard. I will land an action. Go to hero, choose simulate control and select left. I will do this for the right direction and jump as well. For the jump hit up keyboard arrow. Cool! And finally I will turn the hero. Here, add set mirrored action. Choose the mirrored. Done. In the opposite directions, you will need not mirrored action. So, when I press left keyboard arrow, the hero will move in one direction. And when I press the right arrow, the hero will change the direction. Okay, that's it. The basic movements of the hero is done. In next part I will show you how to animate the enemies and make the interaction between an enemy and the hero. So stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.